obviously there are other events in the world. Um, if you want to try and keep up with those, I will be posting uh, YouTube stories from now on covering uh, Ukraine and on my TikTok as well. So <laughs> I know I have a TikTok channel. Shocking. Um, but yes, uh, do go follow those events like there. But there are other events going on here as well that we should follow because our own government does continue to pursue its own bizarre path of, well, complete lunacy. And in this case, there is now a serious attempt by Jacob Rees-Mogg and our government to reintroduce imperial measurements. This is absolutely insane. Only, I think, three other countries actually use imperial measurements. And bear in mind, the imperial measurements that we are going to be back to or reverting to are not even the same <laughs> measurements as the, those other countries use themselves. That is why everyone went to the metric system, because we all agreed this is what um, these measurements are going to be. You know, <laughs> so. That is why, again, the metric system even became an international standard. And even in those countries that still have the imperial measurements, metrification in there is becoming more and more of a thing. And the imperial units are becoming more and more an antique way of, of measuring things. Just the way of the things. But unfortunately, our government is pursuing this as a, well, Brexit win, as much as you can call it that. Um, but of course, as always, before we go looking into this, please do remember to hit that like, share, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a rotation link called Buy Me Coffee. We can, well, buy me coffee. And as always, uh, thank you to all those people who do support the channel that way. So this comes from the London Economic with the title of Brexit. Ministers tasked with looking for the economic benefits of reintroducing imperial units. The government plans to launch a study of the economic benefits of reintroducing imperial units of measure in an effort to quantify a supposed advantage of Brexit. Ministers have sparked the mockery for this ludicrous move, which will be reported to be overseen by the business department this year. And Boris Johnson suggested that in 2019, that measuring in pounds and ounces, as of course, was an, quote, ancient liberty, as he pledged to, quote, welcome a new year of generosity and tolerance towards the traditional measures, the Independent reported. The Prime Minister this month appointed, of course, Jacob Rees-Mogg as the Minister for Brexit Opportunities, or should we say the Minister of Unicorns, to look at how Britain actually might benefit from its divorce from the European Union. The imperial-only labelling, of course, only stopped being used back in businesses back in the early 70s, when Britain joined the European Common Market. But, of course, some did remain attached to it regardless. Instead, of course, of a thousand grams representing one uh, kilogram, as under the metric system, the imperial system says that there are 14 pounds in a stone, 16 pounds in an ounce, and then 256 drachmas uh, to the pound. And of course, for liquid, there are 20 fluid ounces in a pint and 160 in a gallon. Instead of metrics, a thousand milliliters in a litre. Again, that makes, you can see why we switched to the metric system. It's just so much more easy. And of course, Sally, uh, po sorry, Paul Scully, a conservative business minister, said that reintroducing imperial measurements was an important step in taking back control, adding that an assessment of the economic impact on businesses will be carried out in due course. But the Lib Dem uh, business spokesperson, Sarah Only, rubbished the idea and accused ministers of wasting taxpayer money when there are far more pressing concerns to worry about. And she's right. The fact that the government is undertaking a study just into this just shows how out of touch they are, she told the Independent. It is ludicrous that they think this will help businesses after they hit them with the national insurance rise and have done nothing to help them with their soaring energy bills, let alone, of course, the cost of Brexit, now exporting and importing, etc., etc. The list goes on. 
Ministers, of course, must explain how reverting to a system that has not been used in nearly 60 years will help businesses attract new customers and how imperial units will be of any help to companies looking to trade with the rest of the world when the vast majority of countries use the metric system. Instead of wasting taxpayer money on trying to look back to bring imperial measurements, the government should be focused on the real issues affecting businesses, like the miles of lorry queues at our ports, and of course, the reams now of red tape thrown up by Boris Johnson's shambolic EU trade deal. Skilly said we are reviewing the EU ban on, of course, the use of, again, they were never banned, the use of imperial units, uh, for markings so that businesses have, quote, more choice over the measures that they use. Of course, this is what it's going to become. It's always, oh, it's just choice. It's just freedom, while at the same time stripping away lots of regulations that only really benefits, um, to say, a very small number of people in this country. This is, quote, an important step in taking back control of our national rules. And we will constitute to we'll consult to ensure that we have the best evidence available on which to make these changes. An assessment of the economic impacts on businesses will be carried out in due course. This is absolutely, absolutely, one hundred percent, completely ludicrous. I mean, I have never ever in my time in business been asked to do or even measure anything in in like the imperial system and bear in mind i think i was taught this in school i can't remember any of it <laughs> and rightly so no one else in the entire world except three countries use the imperial uh, measurement system and even then they are not the same measurements the idea that this is somehow going to make businesses more competitive is absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. So that report in itself is going to make hilarious reading. Hilarious reading. But remember, they are wasting taxpayers' money on this when this could be going to help businesses in especially... And in, in, when they are businesses in the UK are under immense pressure over over like the the Boris's awful Brexit trade deal, which again we have literally put up trade barriers ourselves and inflicted these on ourselves. But of course, this is what we were, were what we would have been talking about for years, going all the way back to twenty sixteen. But. This is the line, this is the rhetoric, and this is only being done to try and really appease a very, very small amount of the voting public. But then again, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> as always, please do remember to hit that like, share, and obviously the subscribe button if you are new on the way out. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our station link called Buy Me Coffee, Waking Well, Buy Me Coffee. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all.